PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools. How are we all going today? Now the beautiful day on my side of the planet wouldn't be dead for a million dollars, eh? <laughs> Hey guys, I don't know if you're anything like me and you've ever tried to arc weld like exhaust pipe or some thin metal like that. I don't know about you, but I was bloody hopeless at it. So then I just converted to MIG. I did everything with MIG. But I brought this little thing the other day and it's a little um, multi-process welder and it can give me a quite fine adjustments on the old arc welding. So today what I thought I'd do is see if Pete can weld up some exhaust pipe with a arc welder. What do you reckon? Yeah! Anyway guys, same as usual, like the video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below, and let's get into it, eh? Why not? So guys, my idea of arc welding was using something like this, it's an old buzz box, and it virtually has no bloody adjustment, it has this big thing up here that you adjust it, and it sort of gives you a sort of a screen thing up here, if you look up here, the amperage up and down, but you can't finally adjust it, and you burn holes and shit, and it just really got up my nose, so I thought, nah, I don't want to do that, that's why I basically went to MIG. Then I got myself this little thing, it's just 200 bucks worth, but it's a MIG arc and TIG welder, but you can alter it really right down to volt by volt, or even like half a volt. So I thought to myself, I thought to myself, why not try and arc weld some really thin steel with it, like exhaust tubing or something like that, because this one I got no show, but I think this one might actually work. Anyway guys, that's what we're doing today. So guys, like I said, i got some really thin steel here. I don't know what it is. It's about, oh, might be two millimetres if you're lucky. It's just exhaust tubing. So what I'll do is I'll just run the angle grind around it just to give us a bit of a clean mating service and to get the burrs off the bloody thing. And what I'll do is try and butt weld it together. I should really try and put one inside the other and then weld it, but I want to see if I can butt weld it and see if it'll hold together. Anyway, guys, I've got my doubts, but let's give it a go, eh? <laughs> give it a bit of a clean up. That's what I'll do the other end, guys. We'll do this end. I was going to do this end guys, so I started cleaning it up and noticed it's got a big gark in there, so that's not going to help my welding any. Not that my welding's any good anyway, <laughs> but you want to get it as best as we can. Right, so let's try and butt weld this together, eh? So this frame here guys, is just a bit of a little plasma cutting table that I made up. It's just a bit of 40 by 40 box and it's just got some slats welded into it, just so I could hold my plasma cutting off my workshop table here, but I can also use it for welding up pipe. They've got a bit of old manky angle here, so if I stick the angle in here, what they'll do is it'll give me a little bit of a lip here that I can roll my pipe on, hopefully, and we can uh, weld it. <laughs> the proof will be in the pudding, guys. So what I mean, guys, is put my pipe like so. You see this here, and then it gives me a bit of a backstop that I can roll the pipe on to try and weld it, but it's got a big lump of shit here, so we're not going to be able to roll it all the way around. But anyway, get the general idea, guys. Just what I had lying around the workshop. We go like that and try and butt it up to the best place possible. Like so. And let's try and arc weld the little bugger together. I'm just using a GP, a general purpose welding rod, 2.5 millimeters. I don't know what that is in metric, but you know, they're not too small and they're not too big. I have actually got some smaller ones, but I want to see if I can try and weld it with this one first. About this size here, guys. 2.5 millimeters. So I'll set the welder up to arc, guys, just here. All right, that's TIG lift, we want arc, MIG, arc, there we go. And then we'll start off at about 80 amps maybe, or maybe a little bit less. So that's what I like about this, you can actually see what the hell current you're welding with, whereas that other monstrosity thing I showed you, you can't, and you just don't get the feel for it, and you just burn holes and shit, and it just really got up my nose, so I didn't bother really, and I went to MIG. But I think this might actually improve my welding somewhat. Mind you, it will take more than this machine to improve my welding. <laughs> So we'll grab me a welding rod, yes. bend them over, like so, 
and let's have a go see if I can destroy this bit of pipe what I'll do guys is I'll earth it onto my table like so the room has 78 amps let's have a go one tack See what I mean guys, I can just roll this round, that's a theory anyway. If I don't weld it to the bench. <laughs> I really need to put the earth on here, but I don't want to do it at the moment because it's not tacked enough. No, you might have to do it, Pete. What do you reckon guys? Not too bad so far. Give it another go. Move the earth again. See how this backstop thing really helps, guys? Once again, we'll spin it around. You know, I'm sitting on that lump of stuff there, guys. See that? I told you that's going to come back to haunt me, but anyway, we'll keep going. What do you reckon, guys? <laughs> so, what do we end up with, guys? Let's have a look. Yo, that's hot, Pete. <laughs> Might put some gloves on, you reckon? Maybe I should have had some gloves on when I was welding it, guys, you reckon? But I find when I wear gloves if I'm welding, it's really hard to control your torch. Even MIG welding is the same. It's a pain in the ass. But anyway, let's have a look what we've got, guys. Clean it up a bit. Well, with the other welder, all I did was blow holes in it because I couldn't get it low enough on the voltage. But this is not too bad, guys. Look at that. I don't think that's too bad anyway. There's no holes blowing in it. It's not going to fall apart. It's solid as a rock. And I don't think it would even leak. What do you reckon? hee <laughs> So, guys, let's have a bit of another look. What do you reckon? I mean, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. But it's also not that bad for a bloody arc welder a first time having a go with it. I don't think so anyway. So what does the inside look like, guys? Not too bad. I don't think we're going to get exhaustified with that. Yeah. So guys, quite impressed with that actually. I like the way you can dial it up and dial it down. It's a lot better than what I'm used to anyway. Like I say, but it's been about probably 15 years since I brought a welder and I've changed a little bit since then. I can't believe what you get for 200 bucks. I mean, if you can weld thin tubing up and you've had no practice on the machine, imagine what you can do after two or three days. Anyway, guys, that's enough bullshit for me. If you want to see a review on this machine, check up here. I'll put a link up there for you. You can check the review of it. And if you want to know how to bend steel with your plasma cutter without actually cutting it off, check over this side, guys. I'll put a link up there for you. 
Anyway, same as usual guys, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. If you want to have a look at this machine for yourself, I'll drop a link in the description below. And we'll see you next time, mate. Bye. Pete's Tools.com. Tools. 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 Tools.